What is going on, everyone? Mike O back with the Mail Day Recap, wishing you a happy opening day of baseball. One of the great days of the year, opening day. So much fun. I'm a huge fan of the sport of baseball. Love to watch it in person. Love to watch it on TV. Listen to it on the radio. Follow the stats. Learn the history. Collect the cards. Love all aspects of it. And it is always a ton of fun when the season is back underway and you can watch any game and I can watch any game at any time anyway, but there's something extra special uh, at the beginning of the season when everyone's got a clean slate and you can kind of see how teams unfold. Now the Phillies will take place on Friday. Their game was rained out with little to no rain for the second consecutive year. Uh, Opening day was postponed. So they'll play Friday It will be more clear, so it might not be as damp and little threat of rain, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be very windy, so that's not necessarily pleasant in uh, mid-50s weather. So we'll see how that is. I will not be attending the game, but surely we'll be watching it. I've got uh, a really fun mail day for you here. Uh, A lot of awesome stuff for the collection here. Some really big cards some additions to my set, uh, some Tops Now cards to commemorate the postseason run last year, some vintage stuff, uh, fun, fun stuff. So listen, I'm excited, very excited for baseball. I think I was watching six games at once earlier. I'll be watching the late games tonight as well. Uh, If you want to hear some thoughts on this baseball season, you can check out, I'll post the video link down below. Uh, I was on Ray from Philly's channel. We were discussing the upcoming Philly season along with um, the rest of Major League Baseball kind of went through the divisions, gave some thoughts on the different teams. So with all that being said, let's take a look at some cards and we will start it off with an Omar Dahl card. Now, how many channels here on YouTube do you ever see an Omar Dahl card or an Omar Dahl relic card? This is a fun card here. So Omar Dahl was... Acquired by the Phillies from the Diamondbacks in the Kurt Schilling trade. He was one of four players they received back. He was kind of the veteran to just fill out the rotation. Played with the Phillies for a couple years in the early 2000s. Struggled a little bit, then had some success. So Omar Dahl, it's just amazing they made a relic card of him. This was a couple bucks shipped. And this is the type of card, if you're a big fan, it's just fun to have in the collection. Just brings back some memories. Um from a couple decades ago. So a core, cool Omar Dahl relic card. That is one of the lesser cards in this. Um, just so many awesome things here. So we'll look at a little vintage item here, not a card, but a matchbook. So this is a matchbook schedule from 1939. Watch the Phillies. And then you have the awesome old Phillies logo here that they used in the 30s. Philadelphia National League Baseball Club would love to have seen that logo used maybe with the City Connect and in some cool colors, maybe a modernized uniform from back then, but nope, we're going to get some crazy, ugly Nike thing coming up. But here's their schedule at home. So you see they're playing Brooklyn and New York and Boston. So, so many uh, teams that have obviously where the team is shifted to a different city and such but just a cool item not very expensive it'd be neat to get this slabbed i don't know that anyone would slab these um i guess maybe sgc would i guess you could try uh not that it's a necessity you could always just use a semi-rigid just a really cool item there an old matchbook philly's schedule All right, some other singles. Another Richie Ashburn. This one is from 2022 Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary. Serial numbered out of 75. That is the Rose Gold Mini Diamond Refractor of Richie Ashburn, Hall of Famer from the Phillies. Very, very cool. Then I picked up some of these 1990 Simon Stamps. I enjoy picking up uh, items like this. I always try and pick up Every now and then when I'll come across them, I'll pick up some of the Phillies and then I'll pick up uh, good old Connie Mack. So here's a Jim Constante. 
1950 MVP. Had some good times with the Phillies. Also pitched with the Yankees. So really neat there. Those are blank backs. And then we've also got the Connie Mack. And Mike Schmidt. So all awesome. Connie Mack quite a bit off center, but probably send a couple of those into CGC. I think they're neat to get slabbed. If you can get it in a CGC holder for a couple bucks, I mean, why not? I think it enhances the collection a little bit. But just cheap, cool pickups for the collection. Picked up this Bryce Harper. This is from Bowman's Best, the reel-to-reel -reel insert. And it's a decent-looking insert. Um, I like the look of it, but the mini diamond refractors just enhances it quite a bit. I love that mini diamond refractor. These were a little bit pricey when they came out, but now, I mean, you could probably get one for like 10, 15 bucks at most. And just a great look. So huge fan of that card. Always love adding a Harper insert, a Harper parallel. Here's a gold refractor from Topps Chrome Black. This is 2023 Topps Chrome Black, which has traditionally come out late in the year, but, and this one just came out a couple months ago, but they actually just announced that the 2024 version of Topps Chrome Black is coming out in about two weeks. So kind of back-to-back -back releases. I think that's good for the product line, get it out early in the year so people can collect it all year long. I think there's far too many products that come out after the conclusion of the season. And it just kind of buries some of the products. But this one is numbered 7 of 50. So a sweet Trey Turner gold refractor for the Phillies collection. Featured there in the powder blue. This is the biggest card of the order. So was thrilled to see this be posted for sale. So I picked up the Dick Allen Super Fractor from 2022 Topps Scrum Platinum Anniversary. The very first Dick Allen Phillies Super Fractor on the market. So... Numbered one of one. Super excited to have that one in the collection. Haven't seen the Ashwin. Haven't seen a whole lot of the Phillies come out. I believe the Bunning. Bunning or Roberts? It might have been Roberts, I think. Got posted at a pretty cheap price and sold right away back when the product came out. I know I saw Carlton list it very high. Um, and maybe a few of the lower level Phillies. But a lot of the better ones I have not seen yet. I would love to add the Ashburn. I have the Ashburn from last year, though. So it's not like a need, but I would certainly um, be interested in it. But super thrilled to add the Dick Allen. So now I can um, do the entire rainbow. So love that card. Absolutely awesome. As you can see, just loading up on Phillies for the PC as get prepared for opening day. Picked up a nice little stack of the Golden Mirror image variations from the last two years. So this is the Bailey Falter from Series 2. He ended up getting traded at the deadline last year to Pittsburgh. So he'll be in their rotation to start the year. So this is the way they looked on the back last year. But, uh, you know, Falter had uh, some success with the Phillies in 2022. He was actually, you know, pretty important during the regular season. Struggled. Uh, quite a bit in his lone playoff outing, but always will be part of that 2022 NLCS team, team to win the pennant, kind of out of nowhere. So super cool, weird card, um, just, you know, stretching out in the field in a tie-dye t-shirt, but trying to add all the cards from the flagship set um, with the different images to the set. So got to pick it up. And I have not seen, I think that was the first time I saw that card and made multiple offers on it. And then finally uh, the guy, Switched it to an auction and got it for less than I offered him. So I'll take that. Here's the Nick Castellanos. That one is also from Series 2 last year. Uh, this one I was able to snag at a pretty decent price. These have, a number of these have been available, but usually quite a bit higher than I was comfortable paying. But finally was able to wait it out. I mean, it's not like they only make 10 or 20 of these. They probably make a couple hundred the print run. It's just not that many get offered for sale. A lot gets stuck in old product. Some might be pulled in retail and people don't even know what they have. Others, like honestly, a lot of people aren't paying attention, don't know that these are uh, super short prints and they're probably in common boxes. So once that initial run of breaks and you know listings go up, 
you can sometimes get some good deals because people might not be looking out for them, but they just come uh, less and less often. So happy to get that Castellanos. And then from this year, from the 2024 Series 1, was able to snag three recently. We got Ranger Suarez, Matt Strom, Cameo in the background. So this image is actually from the Little League World Series when the Phillies uh, got their early couple hours before their game against the Nationals that night. They attended the Little League World Series and they were cheering on and watching uh, one of the Philadelphia area teams that was competing. So that's pretty cool. Ranger Suarez been a key part of the Phillies for the last few years. One of the longer tenured Phillies at this point. So that's a neat one. JT Real Muto celebrating after the Phillies clinched a spot in the NLCS. Little cameo by Alec Bohm there. Looks like Schwarber as well. So nice Real Muto. And then also picked up the Alec Bohm as he's getting doused Looks like by water after, I'm sure, a walk-off victory. Of course, Brandon Marsh, who's always involved in those post-game celebrations, and that, that you know, most people wouldn't notice who that is, but you can tell from the hair and the fact that he's always there with Marsh doing it, uh, that would be Bryson Stott. So, picked up multiples of the golden um, mirror image variations. This year's much easier to tell. It's got a gold back, but I'm, people probably still miss them. All right, what else we got here to show off? Okay, so I do have a gift here from a viewer of the channel. So, Paul, I appreciate it. Paul sent me a note, just said he enjoys, uh, enjoys the channel, was sending me some Phillies for the Phillies collection. So, I appreciate it, Paul Freeze. Um, thank you for sending this my way. I did not have a slabbed one. I do have this card because it's in my... Uh, Ultimate Tops team set. I do have a raw one in the binder, but I'm always down to have slabbed Phillies cards, specifically vintage cards in the collection. Have a, a nice stack of them, but I did not have a Gene Freeze. So happy to have this 1959 Tops in a near mint PSA 7. So definitely appreciate you sending that my way. And then Paul was also nice enough to send a few discs. So these are compliments of Detroit Caesars. Charter member, American Professional Slow Pitch League. And we've got a Mike Schmidt, a Greg Lazinski, and a Larry Boa. So three uh, three cool discs for the collection. And I have different versions of these, but obviously not those back. So um, more unique items for the collection. So Paul, definitely appreciate that. Thank you um, for thinking of me and taking the time uh, sending it. Absolutely uh, unnecessary, but... Greatly appreciate it, and they will be in my collection for a very, very long time. I do have a stack of stuff that I picked up. So these are blank backs. They Well, they're not blank backs. They're technically stamped, but these are 1957 team issues. They are about 5 by 7 We got Ed Bucci, Kurt Simmons, Jack Sanford, Chico Fernandez, Bob Bowman, that's really cool. Robin Roberts. Richie Ashburn, obviously uh, amazing there. Jack Meyer. Willie Jones, shout out Ed. Granny Hamner. Harvey Haddix. And a Stan Lapata. So these are very thin, as you can see. Um, Stamp 1957 on the back. And there's definitely some, so like they've used some of these images on many other ones in the past, but there's ones like the Bob Bowman, like I've never actually seen that image on one of these team issues. I mean, I'm sure it's out there, but very cool. And these are the types of things you could frame. I know uh, my guy, Big Scott 35 always talks about framing stuff like that and hanging it. Um, you could put them in a five by seven top loader or a semi rigid, which I like to do. Uh, and you could get those slabbed. I mean, I wouldn't get them all slabbed because they're going to take an extra large holder. If the Ashburn were a little better centered, I probably would send it in because I like to have um, a bunch of different Ashburn examples slabbed. But that one's 
I'll probably just hold her them up for now. I mean, you could always slab something in the future, but those are fun pickups. And then the final pickups, these finally came in from Tops. These are from last year. These are relic cards. So I couldn't help myself from buying these when the Phillies were on their playoff run. Obviously, things didn't quite finish up the way myself and other Phillies fans want it, but it was yet another incredible postseason run. Not ultimately as special as 2022. 2022, myself and many of my friends and family were just thrilled to see the Phillies make the playoffs. Literally just clinching a spot in the playoffs and playing in the playoffs would have been enough. And then they went on that miracle run where they had to come from behind, win against the Cardinals, the unbelievable series against the Braves, the, you know, crazy, awesome, entertaining series against the Padres culminating with that Harper, you know, dramatic home run, uh, Bedlam at the Bank, and then, you know, some fantastic moments in the World Series before ultimately coming up short to the Astros. Last year had a lot of great moments as well. Again, when you're up 2-0 against the Diamondbacks and then up 3-2 coming home with two home games and you fall a little short, would have been great to see them in the World Series. Absolutely would have given them a fighting chance in the World Series, no doubt, um, especially if they win in hot. But not to, uh, you know, it wasn't meant to be. Hopefully this year will be a little different. But during the run, Tops did the Tops Now cards, and then they did, did some relics. Um, so I picked some up. So this is a Nick Castellanos. And they did these ones in packs, so you could get uh, numbered parallels, technically. My intention is to keep these off for the collection, but honestly, if I got a low-numbered one of, like, Castellanos, I would probably offer it for sale. Just because as cool as they are, I don't need everyone. Uh, the Harper, I would keep regardless because of, you know, it's not only part of the Phillies collection, but it's part of a Harper collection as well. So these are base relics as well, which are, you know, kind of neat. But relics, I'd prefer jerseys or bats or something. But I understand why they do it. That's like all they could secure. So let's take a look and see what the Castellanos looks like. I think the Castellanos is for his two home run game. And it is a blue, a blue number 29 of 49. Got the cool bat flip. I mean, that's definitely a cool card. First with back-to-back multi-home run postseason games. That was crazy. And that's the thing. I mean, the Phillies in general are a hot and cold team. That's actually been their issues in the last, you know, 25 years. They haven't lost in the postseason due to pitching. Now there's moments where Craig Kimbrell absolutely cost them quite a bit. Um, last year, but ultimately the blame would go on the offense, in my opinion. Um, if you look back at it, 2007, they didn't have enough pitching. In 2009, in the World Series against the Yankees, their pitching failed them quite a bit. Uh, but 2010, they ended up losing the Giants because they just could not hit enough. 2011 against the Cardinals, they could not hit enough. Their bats went cold in deciding game five. 2022, up two games to one in the World Series. They got no hit. They only managed two runs at home, and then they only managed a single run, uh, Kyle Schwarber's solo home run in game six of the World Series. And then again last year against the Diamondbacks, up two games to none, crushing the ball, and then suddenly they could only score a couple runs in Arizona, a couple runs again in Arizona, and then game uh, six and seven, they really just couldn't hit enough. And so here's the Kyle Schwarber relic. I think this is from game five of the NLCS. Ooh, that's an orange to five. That's actually an awesome looking card. Okay, so this is a two home run game powers team to the NLCS. So that would have been against the Braves. Um, game two win and makes MLB history. That's an awesome card. I really like that card. That's one I would maybe consider listing at a high price. Um, it's because it's one I like, but I don't necessarily need. Those for the most dingers against um, with Reggie Jackson. I mean, I love that piece of the uh, base there. That That's definitely an awesome card. I don't know. The temptation is strong to keep them all. We'll see. And then the Bryce Harper... 
Oh, that's not a bad one either. That one's numbered one of 25. I don't love the purple. I would definitely prefer, honestly, color-wise, I'd prefer blue. Or, um, you know, red obviously would have been amazing. Or the orange. But that's number one of 25. Uh, Bryce Harper stares down Philly's history in two homer games. So that is um, against the Braves with the Ar- Orlando Arcia. Honestly, Harper stuff is very expensive. I do like that bat piece. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to keep this, but if I had the opportunity to buy a different color and then sell this one, I would um, just to trade up a little bit because I just, I don't know. The purple would look killer if he were on the Rockies, but the Phillies, it's kind of whatever. Um, But those are cool relics. I honestly like them all. They're all cool. I'm thrilled with them. I mean, to get some different lower number ones is awesome. And, uh, Picked up those 57 team issues, picked up some Harper stuff, Golden Mirror image variations, an old matchbook, and of course, the Dick Allen Superfractor. Happy opening day. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the pickups. Um, In my opinion, this is a pretty epic mail day. Um, Hopefully you agree. Let me know. Let me know what you've picked up. If you guys have made videos or some pickups lately and you have some stuff you want to highlight, Feel free to post links in the comments down below. Sometimes YouTube will flag them, but I will definitely uh, click them for approval and say, hey, they're okay. Um, Definitely no problem with that. All right, guys. Again, enjoy baseball. Watch the games. Enjoy the hobby. Talk to you next time. Have a great one.